Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, Crash Bandicoot. What is this, third episode? Oh, oh. Dang, I can apparently rotate around the whole island with the arrow keys on um, my keyboard. I don't know. Oh, because the arrow keys aren't the movement spaces. Or <laughs> movement ones. Alright, WASD is movement. Oh, come on. I need to know. I must know. You know what? Maybe it'll just be easy if I did it this way. Not that I'm even, like, stressing on the lot or like, blow on lives or anything. Oh, and not if I actually hit them. Oof, really shaky cam. So anyways, yeah, it's actually just, uh, two days ago. Or, like, two days since the first episode got recorded and the second episode. I have only recorded two, as it was late. It's still kind of late, but, eh. The difference here is, uh... It's not as late. Oh shoot, missed that pretty one. So yeah, I have no idea how long I'm gonna play today since it's a completely different day. I'm hoping up. Ah! Hoping up. Actually, I'm not hoping up. I hate the op. It bothers me. Oh, I guess apparently I hit something for that to show up, and I have no. Unless that meant I need to not get there. After dying, like I had to get there before dying. I have no clue. But yeah, today it's only like 2:40 ish. Yeah, 2:41 right now, which is much more reasonable. Cause I don't go to bed until three anyway, so. For record, if you kill both the bats, the one at the start and the one at the end, you actually, uh, oops. You actually, uh, stop them from spawning, if I, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure that's the case, because they didn't keep going. Terrible timing. Ter terrible timing. I, actually, that wasn't even terrible timing, that was just, I forgot to take a step before jumping. That was also a terrible platforming. I'm sad. I'm double sad. I got hit twice. And I need to focus because apparently I'm doing terrible on this. There, I didn't mock. And check my cool. Now I don't need to care. Ah, uh, okay. Don't know how I managed to squeeze my way onto that platform. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any, anything to really, oh, oh god, not, no. I don't have, like, anything to really talk about, because it's only been two days. Though, I'm being smart and, uh, responsible with, with this whole recording. I'm recording before I go check a game that I know is going to take me an hour, as in I have to stay on it for an hour to get an item. So, I'm talking about Mabinogi again. A whole event where you have to stay on it for an hour every day. So I'm going to be reasonable and get on the game when I'm uploading rather than before I record. I uh, messed that one up. So yeah. Let's go me. I also said I was being responsible because of the fact that oh instead of uh playing Wind Waker Randomizer which I I did like only just started to uh play oh like yesterday which me and a friend were gonna play it but then it was actually like 2am so he got off instead 
and then yesterday I decided I will play it myself. That was the day after we set it all up. I guess technically the same day, because it's 2 a.m., but you know. Technicalities. Who cares about those? Oh god. Okay, can't spin that guy. <laughs> gotcha. Nope. Look, already learned. My almost mistake. But yeah, so... Ah, ah, scared, please. Don't. Okay, cool. I don't know how to look. But yeah, so... Instead of playing until... Like, 4am and then recording and then uploading and all that. And by the time that's all done, I'll probably... Probably be, uh... Like, already awake at like 6 a.m. Probably. Dang it, I didn't go far enough left. Maybe. Oh, that was different. Yeah, wait, why is it different now? Why did it change up? What? Before it was biggest. I need to jump after, I'm noticing. But, um... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Instead, I stopped. Despite the fact that I actually seem to be doing better than the first run. This is only, like, second ever. I can't spin those. Why? It's like my second ever Wind Waker run. For randomizing and whatnot. <laughs> Due to the fact that when I when it first became a thing, I planned on uh, doing randomizers for it because I, I was doing like Link to the Past and Ocarina of Time randomizers and those were fun. So I figured here I'll do Wind Waker. I like Wind Waker, and uh, I couldn't find a ROM on the websites I use. And then uh, thankfully I have friends who also have emulated just specifically like Mario Party. So, you know, they can play that together because it's not an online game. If you're talking about old Mario parties, I'm not going to get from hitting all of these. We'll take it. Oh, hold on. I'm still too lazy. But, um, yeah, so they went and showed me where I could get a Queen Wigger round. Un unintentionally. They showed me where you get Mario Party around, but you know, websites got more than one. And so far, I have not noticed any uh, virus on my computer from that website, so thank, thank, thank goodness. And for record, I'm not naming the website because, uh, you know, having emulation and stuff. It's not legal and whatnot, I'm pretty sure. So, don't want to get website in trouble. Not that I have any following, but, <laughs> you know, with my whole massive 38 subscribers. Oh, wow. What have we got? Yeah, so far, it's been fun. Ah, I didn't expect him to strike so fast. So far, it's been fun though, and I've been enjoying them. Except for the fact that apparently I missed one submarine in my very first uh, randomizer, so I spent like a bunch of hours trying to figure out where I could get a grappling hook, bow, hammer, hook shot, any of those things, because I got the Deku Leaf bombs and uh... actually, yeah, you got those two like really early on. And it's like, eventually I found the iron boots during like the many hours. I didn't see it. Nor was I trying to walk forward, so I was trying to go back. And I did find iron boots during the many hours, but that didn't serve me any purpose without any other items, as far as I knew. Because I didn't have like command melody either to go to like Earth or Wind Temple. Oh, I also got the power brights early on. That was the other thing I had early on. I think I found that with the Deku Leaf. 
And it, like, it just kind of sucked, though, because I had uh, both quiver upgrades before I ever got the bow. So I was kind of upset about that. I also had two bottles, so that didn't do much for me. Or, like, they were nice, but, like, they didn't do much. Because, uh, probably not my grandma didn't give me, like, anything. I think I got money for it. Or, no, I got a treasure chart for it. And all the hints from the fish man just were about treasure charts, and I think only one of them I hadn't gotten by that point already. So, like, every hint I ever got was always about a treasure. Or it's always up for the one that are about a treasure chart that I already got. <laughs> but uh, I found out though that apparently the hammer was just in a submarine I didn't see. So that sucked. Because the hammer then led to the grappling hook, and I could have both of those things really early on, because you know it's just a submarine, you don't need any items as far as I'm aware for those. So I could have the hammer and grappling hook like early on. Or at least not through as many hours as I went through. Oh. oh. That's uh that's unfortunate on my part. Or my bad. Really I mean, like by that. I made a mistake. But yeah, so like I could I could have done a lot better. But it did want me to go dive into, I think, like, two different dungeons and not finish them. So, like, that would have been kind of annoying, but eh. Like, that's fine. Just two. Oh. God dang it. I didn't jump far enough. Meanwhile. In the current run that I, uh saved and quit on to go record some, you know, Crash Bandicoot. I have, like, the hammer and the hook shot already, and, uh, that's for the most part it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just that. I don't know where I'm standing, but it looks like I'm fine, so... We're good. <laughs> So it's like, that was kind of rude though, it's just like, I was, I was looking for the hammer and the hook shot for so long, and the last one, it's just like, yep, here's both of them. Oh, hi, Road to Nowhere. Yeah, we got time for Road to Nowhere. So it's not Road to Nowhere that I was thinking of oh then, before. It's whatever a different bridge level is, that I don't remember the name of. So yeah. Fortunately, I don't think this is like Scooby-Doo, you know, in a cyber chase where it'll let me, uh... Jump off of the broken ones. I think those ones I just immediately fall through. So that's unfortunate. Whatever, the key is to hold forward, at least for me. Because then I just have the time to jump, I don't have to worry about, like... Stopping. Ah! That was bad. Okay. There. That, that's a lot better way to go about it. And the whole entire reason why they put platforms that you can stand on for a while. See, look at that. Look at those tiny baby jumps to get across these. This is easy. I only had to let go forward once. Just really quickly. And then back to immediately holding forward again. I don't even know if I actually did need them. Look, at that time, I, both those times I definitely need to hit back. I don't know why I spun. It's not like that does anything. Okay, well, I think it might have killed me, actually. That's fine. It's fine. This is fine. Oh, actually, I didn't need to hold back on either of those. 
Alright, in the first one. There we go. Much better. The half focus is kind of real. Also, I ran out of stuff to talk about again because of that. I haven't done much in the randomizer. I've been playing it for like two hours. Actually, maybe a bit more than that. But it's not enough for me to have found very much, apparently. Hello, thank you for the double lives. Oh, I'm at 40. Nice. That's a lot of lives. This game is going to buy a lot quicker and like is a lot easier than I remember. I don't like Scooby Doo. I didn't expect to do as hot in the Scooby Doo playthrough. <laughs> Maybe I have the opposite of the Let's Play curse. <laughs> it's like it's just actually making me play better. I made a mistake though. That was wait, do you get back up? Oh! I didn't know that. Sweet! I thought they never got back up. Alright. I'll take it. Okay, yeah, a bridge of nowhere. Easy peasy. The only, the only actual danger there was the boar. The actual platforming was fine. It's only because, uh, or I guess it was a hog. Cause it, uh, was it a hog or a boar? Are those the same thing? I don't know. Different words for the same things are just confusing. Well, that took like no time at all. So let's just keep going. Boulder Dash. I, this is just Boulder Dash that I'm doing so well. Like 41 lives. So I'm not doing as good as I was in the insane trilogy, though. Unfortunately, if it went like that, I would have been very happy. Slash not, because I still need to figure out what to play after this game. On the account that I've only been playing it for this the third day since I started. Oh, the one bomb got me. Since I've only been playing it since uh today being the third day. That's what I was gonna say. Something like that. But hey, I'll hopefully think of something. If not, I go back to Rogue Legacy since that was the uh, the plan A ish, and then I then I determine I'll actually just go with Crash Bandicoot, and then yo, here we are. I think I made a good decision. I I'm enjoying this. I don't think that boulder fit, but you know, whatever. Is that one crate too? Oh no. Is that dead for me? Does one bonk really mean death? And it's just gonna... It's gonna stall it out to the very end? Okay, no, I'm good. Oops. I accidentally carried that in a dash a little bit too far, huh? I almost did it again. But this time in a more stupid way of doing it. I don't even know why I care about breaking the crates when I'm not going for the gems, and I'm also definitely not getting all the crates in this uh, level. And I'm pretty sure this is another one of those levels that wants you to have a specific color gem. I'll get all the gems in Crash Bandicoot 3 whenever I do play that. Don't hold me to that. I might regret that decision, but I think I've done it before. So, yeah, I have not done it in this game. Now oh, you can see, there, there's a thing here. Right there. I definitely won't do it for two. If I do it, like, unless I do it for this and the, the third game, then, then I'll do it for two, I guess. Because at that point, I might as well. You know, two out of the three, might as well do it. Do the last one. But... I don't plan on doing this one, because... Why, uh... Why, why... Tempt fate any more than I have to... With, uh... How well I'm doing. 
Not to mention, I have no idea what I will be doing in terms of getting all the crates. Hey, that hit me? That's upsetting. Also, there's the fact that, like, I could just completely fail a level and it's gem just by messing up the uh, Cortex and Ton or Brio or whatever, whoever the heck. Uh, like, bonus thingy. And, like, those count towards the crates that you need. And if so, if, like, if I mess that up, immediate level failed. And the, the, the one, like, Brio ones, for example, are supposed to be more difficult, so... Yeah. That wouldn't go well. Don't, don't, just don't. Okay, cool, they didn't. Did I kill the first bat? If I didn't kill the first- I should try kill, not killing with the first bat for one of these. So we can see if it just stops because I'm ahead, or if it stops because I killed both. I swear that killing alternates. <laughs> I swear that killing both stops it. I hit this first, and then I go over here. Cool. I think that means I can always get him after every death too. Which is nice. Oops. Wait. Gotta get the Akubaku, cause. Boy, howdy, will I need him probably for those pets. Yep. Don't hit me. Thank you. Nope, see, they're still going. So it is because I killed them, both of them. I knew it. It's just one of the handful of things I actually know about this game. Other than it's just a difficult game. It's just like, I played enough Crash Bandicoot 3 that I could at least do some of this. Some. Not all. Very clearly not all. Uh, please. Please, please. Okay, thank you. I uh, am bad. Man, I was doing so well on the tiny platforms, too. Like, I was getting there. I was doing it. I'm so proud of myself, and then that happened. Ooh. That's close. Okay, now we gotta wait a whole nother cycle. thought that with how much distance I had to cover, it would have been out by then. No, that was going way slower than I expected. Especially with the fact that, like, you know, I didn't take any of the rest of it slow and it, it went by pretty fast. Or, like, fine, I mean. However, that was a load of garbage. I hate it. I had jump, but I was holding up to the right. It hasn't showed up, like, at all for this entire playthrough. It showed up once, and it wasn't even an important moment. It was just a random moment that didn't matter. That- oh my god, I almost did it a second time. I should probably fix that still. But, like, you know, I'm a bit lazy. So, like, that's just rude, the host of game, just... Or of, like, the world. Yeah, no, like, the game. Alright, I'll go back- I'll go back to this. I'll stop talking about the up and to the right thing. I almost fell in between the gap again. You okay, know, it's rude that that's even a thing that can happen. Oh, god. That, now it's like that, the... Just, my feet. In the air. 
where they uh, do not belong without uh, without me having to hit the jump button first. Confident I'm gonna land on a platform. I probably should have killed that bat so if I fall down, I don't have to worry about landing on a bunch of bats that are gonna hurt me, but it's fine. I'm sure. Just a little bit of extra background noise, you know? Help me focus on what my goal is. Hi, buddy. Jump over here. Thanks. Let's see what all this is about. Oh, where am I? Oh, over here. Hey, there's a Cortex one. At least I didn't spoil it like a million years before, because we haven't seen Cortex, have we? Oh, hey, wait, hang on. What's up? I have two. Let's go. Ah! Now I have zero. Let's go. Never mind, I have one. Sweet. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump down. Cause I don't think I've missed a crate yet, have I? Oh, I keep the cortex thing. But, I mean, I guess it's pointless to do it if I don't have all the crates. I mean... Those bonus games do ch count as checkpoints and also, uh... Safe stations, but, you know... I don't, I don't need to worry about that. I realized what they were about to do to me before it happened. I was like, this is this is the moment where it shoots all three of them, isn't it? It's just that kind of Oh, hey, look, there's the, the castle in the background. Cortex Castle. But yeah, no, it's like the count save stations and whatnot. Checkpoints, but it's like, that don't matter. If, uh... I could just make it like this. I don't got all the... Or like the Cortex ones specifically don't matter if I don't got all the crates. Because I could just do the Tana one. Or... Hey, your name is Tana? I'm not confident. I think it is. Cause she's also the one who shows up in Crash Boom Bang for the DS. And she was the person that I did not know the identity of. Or like who the they were. When they show up in Crash Boom Bang on the DS. Uh... Scary. This is gonna be Cortex or Tana? Cortex, because it's hidden. Makes sense. Because Cortex and Brio ones are more difficult to find, and then also more difficult to do. Because, you know... Difficulty. Ah. Oh, no. No! Oh, no! Oh, no, I made it! No! Wait, but does it count? Because I broke all the crates. Do, do they stay broken? Please tell me they at least stay broken. Can I make that jump? Okay. Man, if I w apparently didn't go towards the camera, because apparently I went towards the camera, I didn't even know. I didn't even notice that I did. Like, I would have actually landed... Uh, I would have landed on the metal block, and I would have lived. I would have uh, actually gotten the Cortex one done. I would have been so happy with myself that I did it first try. At least I'm pretty dang certain that I got it. Okay, cool, yeah, those are all do explode. Oh, please tell me Cortex is doesn't have two lives at the end. Shoot. You know what? I, I mean, I saw Cortex sitting there. Right? Maybe. I might get lucky and he, there might not be lives in the end of that one. If there aren't, that'd be cool. Cause that just means I actually got all the crates. And assuming you don't have to hit the exit portal to make them count. I'm actually going to get a jam that I'm happy about. Oh, you know what? I wonder. Are the Cortex and Brio ones how you get, like, the color gems? Are they supposed to be the color gems because they're more difficult to get? That would make sense. 
And I don't know how you differentiate them otherwise on how, where, where they are and how you get them. If they're even, if you, if they even want you to be able to differentiate it. They might not. They, they might just want you to guess and gamble. I don't see any crates back there. So I don't think I need to try risking the jump. Actually, okay, yeah, no, I can't go back there. I, say, I, don't, I don't actually even need to risk the jump. I can just make it. Alright, moment of truth. Did, did I get everything? Please say yes. Dang it. Man, that sucks. I was so excited. Well, this was 30 more minutes, but we can go fight Koala Kong. To which, uh, because of the Crash Bash, I always now know as Paul. He is a Paul to me. Like P-A-U-L. Because it's hard to understand what the person is saying in, uh... Did I break that? Or, like, what happened there? You know, it's just hard to understand what the one person is saying in Crash Bash. Oops. Oh, God. Went too far forward. Like then there's like the the gorilla, who I think his actual name is like what Little Roo or something like that. But I always heard like Ripper Roo, which I mean isn't the farthest off. It has Roo in it still. Is there a kangaroo? But... Oh what? That's a load of garbage. I uh, hit the ceiling, apparently. There was a ceiling. Yeah, there's a ceiling right there in particular, apparently. <laughs> okay. Cool. I guess. Other than that, though, I knew everyone else's name. Like, I learned Brio's name because of Crash Bash. Oh, I almost did that thing again. Because Death Perception. Blow it up. Okay, or not. Alright, at least I think I learned Brio's name from Crash Bash. I if, if not, it was just from playing Crash Bandicoot. Because, like, yeah. There. I waited extra long not to get hit by the this. Oh, he actually does aim at me. So, for record, if, if uh, you didn't piece it together, though, they just say Kong. They don't say Koala Kong. They say Koala Kong. It would have been more apparent that his name is not Paul. <laughs> when the announcer quality can sometimes just and be really hard to understand. <laughs> you don't hear words correctly. <laughs> Either way, that'll do it for this episode of uh, Crash Bandicoot. Next time we head off to some, just look at some heavy machinery as we're on a new island again. See you all then. Bye bye.